I bought my nephew a bicycle for Christmas when he was six. And it, it was Christmas Day, and he got it comes in a massive box, comes with a ribbon, comes gift wrapped. He t- took him a while to get the bicycle out of the box, and what did he spend the rest of the day playing with? The box. We're all born very creative. We're all born with an amazing imagination. I saw this little girl in a in a supermarket a couple of weeks back. She was probably six paces behind her mum. Mum's paying. But this little girl, you just wanted to ask her, okay, what are you right now? Are you a princess? Are you a unicorn? Are you a superhero? Because clearly she was not in that supermarket. She was somewhere else saving the world. It was amazing to watch. Um, And so we're all born with an amazing intuition. It's that side of us where if somebody stares at the back of our head, we know. And we turn around and look at them. We know we've turned, we've looked at other people in the back of the head and they turn around and look at us. Um, You think about as a consumer, the shirt you chose to buy, the dress you chose to, the place you went on vacation, the meal you chose to eat, the movie you chose to watch, all of those decisions are made with um, what we call our gut. You have six billion neurons in your brain, and you can Google this. You have more than that in your stomach. It's called the second brain, and yet most of your decisions are actually made with your second brain. And so intuition is a remarkably powerful tool that I believe can get people to insights that big data sometimes can't. Big data is going to get better and faster. Will it get intuitive? No, it won't get intuitive. Um, and then you've got curiosity. You know, if you ask people what question do children ask, they'll say why. And then you say, okay, what do they ask after that? And they say, why? And what's that? You get real insights from the fourth or fifth why. If you ask somebody why they go to Disney, the first answer you'll get is, oh, we love the rides. Well, that would tell you to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on new attractions. But if you pause for a second and ask, why do you like the rides? They'll tell you, well, because I like Big Thunder Mountain. And you say, well, why do you like Big Thunder Mountain? Go, well, I used to go with my dad. You go, well, why is that? Why well, take my son now? And what you suddenly realized by the fourth why is it isn't a capital investment at all. This guy is coming based on nostalgia and memories, which is a very different, if not communication campaign. So we are all born with four core assets. We're all born creative. But over time, we go to school and the teacher tells you it's a box. <laughs> and when you go to work and you're told there's only one right answer. So you stop asking why the second time. We th- th- Those four skills get squashed into, or at least for the last 30 years, creativity, imagination, intuition and curiosity have been pushed into the back. Well, in the next decade, there are four things that can't be programmed into a robot into artificial intelligence. One is imagination, one is creativity, one is curiosity, and one is intuition. You can't you can program the robot to paint Mona Lisa and she or he will paint it better than Leonardo da Vinci, but she or he would not think what to paint. And so so I believe certainly will they eventually get there? I would argue we will get there. And what I mean by that is this. Um, I've met Sophia twice now, and her her creator asked me. He said, "Do you do you have any metal parts?" And I was like, "No." Oh. Well, yes, I do actually. I have a, a titanium neck. Uh, and he said, "Well," he said, "Think about when the universe was born and where it's going, uh, and, w- and what speck on the horizon the human race represents." But as the universe moves off into the hundreds of millions of years that will follow. Um, In our search for immortality, in our search for perfect health, in our search for uh, living longer, you know, he says we've got prosthetic limbs today. He estimates within 20 years, he's probably right, we'll have prosthetic organs. He uh, He says we won't carry one of these 20 years from now. It'll be embedded into us somewhere. Um, uh, uh, He said we will evolve to become Sophia. But... Those four core assets that the human race is born with, that we've all been told. But the problem is, when you go to school, somebody sticks their finger in your face and says, you're not creative. Then you get a job as a finance or a lawyer or a programmer or a teacher, and you're told you're not creative. And eventually, you end up believing you're not creative, which is stupid, because the human race is creative. We all have amazing imaginations, even those people who think they don't, because I know that they had those weird dreams last week. So you can't program those four. And because you can't program, they can't be replicated. So I actually believe, genuinely believe, those are the four strongest skill sets that the human race will have to compete against artificial intelligence as it does become exponentially more intelligent than the human race. 